Thanks first for being here. Appreciate it. Um, the crowd, awesome today. We needed it too. Um, I have a ton of respect for Michigan. It's, he's a great coach. They got really good players. They do a really good job. Great team win today. We battled through foul trouble. We battled through Mawat losing his teeth. Uh, we battled through uh, you know a, a lot of stuff, and you know, we out rebounded them. And uh, these guys were you know terrific down the stretch. Made the big plays. Uh, we made threes. Um, I thought we shared the ball again, another 20 assist game, which has to be a stretch here that we've never had. We really sharing the ball and, um, you know, got through a tough time. This was our third game in seven days and after coming off the 13 days off. So pr proud of these guys. Good veteran win. And uh, we've got another one coming up here. So we're in the gauntlet. Steve, following up on the sharing of the ball, all those assists now, what has sort of sparked this that you kind of thought your team had it in the ball along? Yeah, I mean, I said we're a really good passing team, and they have good feels. And, you know, again, Paul, seven assists tonight and one turnover. Um, you know, I think he got his 200th assist, I think, which, yeah. you know. And his ratio in the last four games has been, like, off the charts good. But Gio shares it. Ron shares it. Caleb's a good passer. Cliff, when he gets the ball in the post, um, two is a good passer out. And I think it's contagious. You know, we share the game, and these guys know how to play together. And uh, we're starting to see the results of that. Steve, is this the best that Gio and, and Ron played together? I mean, they've played well a lot, yeah. Um, was it the best? I no, think they uh, could play a lot better, too. So I'm <laughs> yeah. um, thankful they were good tonight, <laughs> but they've been good a lot. And, and uh, uh, you know, we needed it. I mean, Gio's been shooting the ball really well. It's good to have him back. I don't think anyone realized we lost a lot of games without Gio Baker. Um, certainly not the recipe for me getting a lot of sleep. Uh, but, uh, you know, those two guys were good, but I thought everyone, Andre came off the bench, gave us good minutes. Jalen came, gave us good minutes. You know, I thought we got Jaden came in, give us some good minutes. So I thought everyone that checked in Dean was good and that's a tough matchup for him. So I thought we had good, you know, a good blend and they all played well. We did. We've been through so many firsts here at Rutgers. How about beating Michigan for the first time ever for the program? Well, I mean, I have tremendous respect, but that's these guys, that's you know, time. these guys did it and, you know, um, you know, these guys uh, wanted to get that one. Uh, we've done now nine, ten teams that this, this group has checked off the list. And, and uh, it wasn't like that before I got here. So um, it's a good feeling. And, uh, you know, we got a long season left. It's one game. But uh, Michigan's been very good for a long time and they continue to be. Uh, he's a terrific coach and I have a ton of respect for the Michigan program. So happy we got a W. Ron, could you follow up on that? Uh, yeah, it was just it was just a great team win. You know, I feel like we executed the game plan really well that we built in two days. And it was not, it wasn't like we had a week prep. Uh, they're they're a great team, like Coach Coach Pike said. You know, Joan Howard's a great coach, and tonight we I just feel like everybody that checked in the game brought energy, and that was a big emphasis talking to the guys pregame and in practice. Just go out there, and no matter how how much you play, just you got to bring it. And I feel like all of our guys that checked in today did it, and I'm proud of those guys. And but we just got to keep moving. And now we're worried about Nebraska. Steve, how was Mawad? How's, how's he doing? Yeah, he's at the dentist right now, so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what happened. He lost his teeth, so he's at the dentist. So we'll go see him after we're done here. You mentioned the, the passing. How much of that, you guys have tried another, I think it was 48% from three. How much of their success from three is coming from sharing the game, moving the ball? Yeah, I mean, all of them. I mean, when these guys are in rhythm and they're all good shooters, I mean, when we share the game like that, pass it to the open guy, you know, very important. And, you know, they've embraced that. And we've had a stretch here, 20 assists or more, that's, you know, been pretty impressive. So we got to keep that going. It's a good sign for us. Good basketball team. You, you checked uh, Jalen Miller into the game early, stuck him on Michigan's point guard. What's the, what was the thought process? Yeah, always. I mean, Jaylen, first of all, everyone was in foul trouble. So that was the first um, thought process. But he's a good defender. He can defend a lot of guys. He embraces that role. He does a really good job for us. So. He'll keep finding himself more and more minutes, and, and um, you know he can guard the best player on the other team, and I like that. And he wants to take on that that kind of a role. Steve, what happened from your perspective at, at the end of the game there? A little bit of yeah, I don't know. We're shaking hands. At, you know, you know that's what happens in a competitive game like that. You know, I guess some words were said, but not, you know, I don't know. I'll watch the tape, figure it out. But that happens. These are tough games, you know, against good teams and you know, competitive teams. They're real competitive. We are. Like the coach was walking with you. Were walking with the coach while they were going to the locker room. Did he say anything to you? Or no, just, we we're just talking about two competitive teams playing hard, and you know that stuff happens. Steve, what did you think of the turnout under the conditions? 
I mean, I love the turnout. As you guys know, COVID's going crazy right now, and people are nervous to be out. I loved it. I loved it. our student section was great, and appreciate the people that came out. I really do. And um, you know, these are tough times too. So, and we needed them. All right, we need that home court advantage. You see teams on TV all the time. It's a big advantage when um, you know you got your home crowd and they're into it, and the cheerleaders, the dance team is great. You know, all those all those things make it a tough place to play. So when you have a, a game of this magnitude, what's it like having three seniors, post grad, <laughs> who've been through these wars? What's it like having them? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, these these three guys have been through a lot of wars, you know, and they've been through a lot together. And Paul too, you know, these are our four, you know, four captains, and those guys have, you know been here through it all and so they know what it's like we haven't had a lot of success against Michigan they were a part of that you know and they, they understand how hard it is you know to win a basketball game in the Big Ten and how hard it is to win against any team in this league so um, they take it personal and, and it's nice to have veteran groups and especially after 13 days of no practice I'm, I've never experienced anything like that and they were running in quicksand for the first couple of days of practice, and now they're starting to get their legs back. And so, you know, thank God you got veteran guys to get you through this. And the game plan, Brandon Knight did a terrific job. Um, in two days, they're able to soak that thing in. And it's a hard thing for young guys to soak it in in two days. These guys were able to do it, and we executed it well. Comments on uh, your shooting, um, five for six for threes for you, and big threes down the stretch. How important were those threes answering the call in the last three minutes, your threes. I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, it's shots we practice every day. Um, you know, we've got good shots in rhythm, and, you know, we talked about sharing the game. And, um, you know, when I think a good shot starts with a good pass, so everyone did a good job of making good passes, and then they found us and we made big shots down the stretch. Guys, a question for players. You went over to the student section in the front rows of fans after the game. Just explain why you did that and what, what the give and take was like in those. Uh, uh, we always do that, man. After the game, we show love to the people that came out and supported us. I feel like it's real important to keep them coming. Just let them know it's it's, it's a token of gratitude, really. And after we do after we do the song, we go over there and we give them all high fives just to let us know we appreciate them coming out under the circumstances. Was it a little different though, just knowing what people went through to come here? I mean, people jumped through hoops to come here tonight. Definitely, you know, just like Coach Pagel said, under the circumstances, I thought the crowd was great. COVID is is is. Doing numbers again, and I, I think the fans. I think we had a really good turnout, and it's, it's good to see them out there. You know, it, it's more than I expected, if we're being honest. And it, we just have great fans. We have some. We have the best fans in the country, and they show that each and every night. Caleb, while it's true that Gio and, and Ron were hitting big shot after big shot, I thought you had one of the biggest shots in the game when they cut it to seven with a three, and then you came right back and you hit a three to get it back up ten. Talk about that shot, man. Um, just to go off what Gio said, uh, those are shots that we take every day in practice. And um, really, it's just all about getting a good shot. And um, I feel like Gio created enough space for me to 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 get a shot in rhythm. And I just made it. So, um, so yeah. So, it's, it, so really, it's just all about just playing together and taking good shots and taking shots in rhythm. Pretty good. That's good. Guys, thanks so much for coming. Appreciate Appreciate you. Thank you. Guys, you guys can stay. All right, Coach.